Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today it's uh, Wednesday the 17th of May. We're halfway through the week now and we've come down to the broads today because we're going to be shearing the sheep all day. Well, David is the shearer and I'm going to be rolling the wool up, putting it in the sack and then we'll hopefully get all of them done today. There's nearly 100 sheep to do, so we're hoping that we can get them all done. And then once they're all done, we'll take all the wool home and that'll be the sheep shorn for another year. Yeah, you can see this is the quad which I put the uh, put the new board on the other day. I just drilled a couple of holes in the back. You can see there, bolted that on underneath, and it worked out quite well. That's Pip's board for when Pip goes on the quad. And then we've got the Ranger down here today, the diesel. I've put the dog grate on the back. We've got the ratchet strap, one I picked up from Amazon, and it's worked really well. You can see Pip's there. She's about to go out again. So we've got to move some sheep around in a minute. And then this is Nell. There was another one of the sheepdogs, and uh, you can see the divider works really well. So they're both sitting there whilst we're uh, moving sheep around and all the rest of it. So this will be going back to the farm in a minute, won't it, maybe? And then, uh, yeah, I've got to stay down here for the rest of the day wrapping wool. So that's what I'm going up to. Property of British wool. Unfortunately, these days, wool doesn't go for very much money. It actually costs the farm money to uh, get get the sheep shorn and it's, a, it's such a shame because it's such a sustainable material which could be used for something especially with you know carbon emissions and climate change and all that I'm, sh I'm sure someone could come up with a solution for wool these days so these are the Shropshire ewes they've been out in the field all spring on, and all winter and they've grown these massive coats on them and because of the rain when their coats get uh, soaked in water they can get on their backs they've been getting on their backs a bit this year but anyway that's why we've got them in we're shearing them taking the uh, the fleece off their backs david shearing over there and then putting it in the bags and then i've got the cattle float where we're putting the bags into and then we've been rounding the sheep up bringing them into the pens so it's a lovely afternoon actually down here uh, down at the broads There we go, we're done for the day. The shearer David is uh, on his way home. It's been a good fun day down there, enjoyed it. Dad's just at the back with the Polaris shutting the gates. I'm gonna take this livestock container back. We've got the wool bags in the uh, in the back. We've got the, some rams in the back. We've got the, gate, uh, the quad bike checked down there as well. So uh, yeah, we'll have to head, head on back to the farm. Pip here. She had a good day out with the sheep today. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on film, but uh, thank you, Clove. Clove was having a dinner as well. But uh, yeah, it worked out pretty well. Just fed the dogs, now we're getting the cattle in. Come on, come on, come on. They've been out all day whilst they've been away with the sheep, so because they're just starting to go out on grass. Come on, girls and boys, come on. Pip's keen, keen as mustard. Look at it. Right, they're finally starting to go. Nell, watch this one, would you? Lie down, lie down. Up you go, up you go, up you go, up you go. Still on a lead because she's a puppy. Lie down, Nell, lie down. Ah, oh, finally, they're going to bed. I'm gonna to go to bed soon, have a shower and dinner. Nell, lie down. 
There we go, right. You gotta reward them when they've done a good job, so. Good girl. Reward the good behavior, discipline the bad behavior. And we've finally got the uh, sheep shorn. I'll show you them when they're shorn later on in the week. Tomorrow we're gonna go and see, there's a baler demonstration on a neighboring farm. Mikhail baler we can go and have a look at. And I've gotta take the digger back tomorrow. We've got lots going on. The weather's pretty good as well. So we might look at starting to uh, cut that silage as well. So yeah, with that, thanks for watching. Keep liking and subscribing. I hope you're, st I hope you're starting to enjoy the summer and I'll catch you on the next one. Dogs are barking at the cat. She's at dinner, so I'll go and feed the cat. Click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to watch another Ollie's Farm video.